Okay, this video is kind of answer to all the messages and emails I get about the Mini Thunderbolt. I've got it all apart now, so I thought I'd take this video and show all the pieces to it. And I don't know if you can get an idea what went into making it from this or not, but here's the blower. It's got a uh, General Motors smog pump motor on it that I use kind of like a mini little vacuum cleaner motor. This is the air intake hole right there. But the impeller spins inside there. There's the air outlet pipe. It's just PVC that goes through the base here and up through this U-bolt, kind of like the real Thunderbolt blower does. Made a little wooden skid for it. The reason I went with the General Motors smog pump motor is that I wanted to run everything off, tw off the same voltage. So since I'm running all the other motors off DC, I wanted to run this. I chose 12 volts, so that's why I, this thing draws a lot of current, but it works anyway. The rotator is all apart. It goes right here on the air pipe. This is the uh, chopper support tube, the uh, chopper collector rings uh, for the uh, brushes right on there. It's got a plastic bearing on the bottom. See through it. Wires come up, go through in the side, up out the top. Sits in there like that in the bottom. It's belt driven with this belt right here. It's got a little to me a uh, tank motor rotator gearbox here because it had to drive it down from that super high RPM little hobby motor down to two RPMs. It's got a pulley on the bottom there. It attaches here kind of like this. Sits in there like that. It's only got four standoffs on three corners because there wasn't enough room to put one there because the rotator motor sits there. So then the top of the rotator here has the chopper brushes on it, which are right there. The brushes are actually just a, I took them out of an, a ch the same motor I used for the chopper motor. So this goes on top like this. Sits on there like that. The brushes, you know, right against the collector rings on the, you can't really see it in the dark, but anyway, then there's the chopper tube, chopper housing tube and horn support set up here like this. I'm not going to mess with that wire. That wire is a real pain to get back together. Here's the chopper motor and chopper stator. It's got the chopper in there now. Drop it out of there. There's the air holes in the bottom there. Slot for the horn. Goes together like this, more or less. I can't get it together with the wire because it's so hard to get back together. And so it sits in there, it attaches with four screws. And here's the chopper here. Five and six port dual tone, little aluminum chopper. And it's got a bearing in the top, and there's the top. It sits like this. And then the horn sits on like that. So it's, on, you know, it's all screwed together. Of course, it goes together the right way, but that's pretty much all the pieces there. Uh, I think that's pretty much it.